how to gently teach the children about the deen, the children have to see a lot of joy in the practice of the deen. And they have to see that Islam works. They have to see that Islam gives you a dignified life and it gives you a clean life and it gives you a better option for a way of living than what others may be choosing all around them. Eventually, they will come to see the difference between right and wrong because what's right has been presented in such a beautiful way to them their entire lives. So I, I had somebody once say, you're one of the only happy Muslims I know. So, you know, and, and they were saying that's why they wanted me to speak at a public event. So they were like, you're a happy Muslim. You're a happy woman who's a Muslim. And I thought that was a very sad statement to make because why don't we look happy? Why, I know that we're worried about the next life and we're worried about how to get through this world in safety, Jella, but our deen gives us so much beauty and so much dignity and so much grace and so much hope. There's so much hope and there's so much beauty around us. So instead of just focusing on all the negative that's out there, also get our kids to see all the positive, right? So if kids see that Islam is the reason that parents treat each other with respect, and Islam is the reason we smell nice, and Islam is the reason our homes are clean, and Islam is the reason we treat our elders with respect, and Islam is the reason we pay our bills on time, Islam is the reason we keep our promises, they will eventually choose it for themselves, inshallah. We want them to choose it because they recognize that it's the al haq obviously. But when they also see that it gives you a dignified life, they will choose it for themselves, inshallah. And teach it with a smile.